One local nonprofit taking physical therapy to the barn with therapeutic horseback riding. Five News reporter Ian Taylor is in Barling with more. Every week, more than 50 kids and young adults come to Maine's and Miracles for a unique type of therapy, all on a horse's back. The child and the horse, they make a bond that's like no other. Jody Custrin is the executive director and a therapist at Maine's and Miracles at Chaffee Crossing. Her team worked with 10 horses, providing hippotherapy and therapeutic horseback riding for those with a physical or cognitive impairment. It's really impactful. The movement of the horse trains the core, trains the brain, and helps us lay, lay down more foundational movement patterns so that we can learn how to tie our shoes, how to get in and out of a bathtub, how to run, how to walk, how to sit independently, how to talk, how to breathe. During a 30-minute therapy session, a person can work on improving balance, mobility, and strength. Barrett Berg gains more independence walking upstairs. The horse brought me with the stairs better. Yeah. I'll let all the horses do the walking today, but Saturday, Mains and Miracles will host their fourth annual Raise the Barn 5 and 10K Walk or Run to help expand and raise money for their new facility. We're really at pretty much capacity till we can build our own facilities. Mains and Miracles is hoping to build and move into a 4,000 square foot facility with a new arena to build our own facility that can be bigger so we can hold more therapy sessions. We can expand that to the wait list that we have. And then also we can expand services to veterans in our area. In Barling, covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News. Now you can still register to race in Saturday's event, but organizers say spots are filling up fast. This was the scene.